Many of you will remember when we were stealing money in the business called Radio a few years ago. And Eddie Cantor was one of our big radio stars, and along with him in the roster of his show business colleagues and co-workers was a bright comedy star named Parkia Karkas, who every week managed to convulse everybody and who, with his Greek dialect, has done for the Greeks what Desi has done for the Cubans, <laughs> set back the United States relations with him about a century. <laughs> It's rumored that Parkey was here last night catering the Greek dinner, but at all events, he has remained over and he is going to serve up some of the verbal hors d'oeuvres, which are such a tasty dish when he handles them. I want you to meet a great guy and a fine friar, Harry Einstein. Parkey Parkey. Thank you very much. Distinguished and honored guests, my brother Friars, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a very great honor for me to have been asked to sit up here tonight on this dais which is made up of perhaps the greatest array of theatrical talent in the world and the great privilege of speaking here is assuredly in no wise diminished by the fact that as co-chairman of the membership committee of the Friars Club that it now becomes my most pleasant duty to officially welcome perhaps the most talented, the best loved, and most certainly the best known couple in the theatrical world today, my very dear and very close friends, Miss Louise Bowles. to welcome you into our club because we know what a prominent club man you are. <laughs> I, have the great I have the great satisfaction of belonging to several exclusive clubs with him, such as the Diners Club, <laughs> the Book of the Month Club, and the Automobile Club in Southern California. <laughs> I tried to get into the Los Angeles Country Club. <laughs> But they don't take actors. <laughs> but you must not think that the Friars Club is an easy club to get into. <laughs> Quite to the contrary, it is most difficult before a prospective candidate has even issued an application, he must first satisfy us beyond any question of a doubt that he is either a resident <laughs> or a non-resident of the state of California. then must be proposed by 
and then vouched for by at least two men who are listed in the phone book. <laughs> then his name is turned over to our screening committee. chairman of which is Chico Marx. <laughs> who is ably assisted by Ben Platt <laughs> and Tony Martin's father. These men then conduct a searching investigation into the character and reputation of the candidate, and no stone is left unturned. Sometimes these rigid inquiries drag on for five or six minutes. <laughs> After the candidate is deemed to be worthy, he is then allowed to write out a check in the amount of the initiation fee. But he is still not yet a friar. There is a further waiting period. We wait for the ink to dry on the check. But in spite of all this kidding, we have managed to put together a pretty good club. Made up of the very cream of show business people, the city's leading merchant princes, outstanding doctors, many famous lawyers, several fine judges, and quite a few defendants. <laughs> As you know, we have recently completely redecorated our club rooms. We were very fortunate in securing the services of an outstanding interior decorator who came to us very highly recommended by the Washingtonian Home for the Blind. <laughs> we are now able to offer our members many social as well as cultural features. Besides a fine steam room, we have a brand new sun deck, spacious game rooms, and we've recently completed a beautiful new library. And someday soon, we hope to get a book. <laughs> We have also recently installed the largest pool in the entire West. Not a swimming pool, a football pool. <laughs> uh, if one should be interested in nature, we have a splendid bird watching group. No matter what time you come into our club, You'll always see two or three of our members standing around looking for pigeons. <laughs> so, Desi, we sincerely hope that you will be using the facilities of our club very often. And, Lucy, while ladies' nights at the Friars are traditionally... Thursdays and Saturdays, we love you, so you can come anytime. Thank you very much.
I've seen Harry at a dozen of these friars of benefits and fairs, and every time he finishes, I always ask myself, why isn't he on the air in a prime time? Yeah.